Good morning. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday is the day governed by Mercury. I'm the Moon Mama. How's everybody doing today? Wow, there is so much going on in the world. It's really difficult to know where to start. I feel like I want to talk for long periods of time. And that's not really what my work is about, you know, like, a, like where I do my most communicating and teaching is really in, in the moon work in the private group um, because I can be fully expressed there and, and this is my work, but there is a lot going on. So one of the things that I'm certainly going to do, we're going to talk about Mercury right now. The moon is currently in Libra and um, the sun is in Aquarius. And so we are... You know, the sun is really the generating force of our universe. So wherever the sun is, is is where we are taking on, um, it's like what's really happening. And then wherever the moon is, is how we can, is the vehicle to get to what is happening. That's what the moon is. It gives us the it gives us the energy to get to where the sun is. It, it, it helps us embrace the energy of the sun. Um, that's what the moon does in our cosmos. It reflects the light of the sun. And so that's the moon reflects the light of the sun to us directly. And, um, and when we integrate that, like do rituals or, um, really rituals, you know, rituals that honor these energies, then they are more activated within us. But Mercury is currently in Pisces, and Pisces is the energy that governs our collective experience. But it's our collective experience in the unseen, in the subconscious, and so it's our spirituality. It's 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 everything but the intellect, right? <laughs> That's what it is. It's our romance. It's our, you know, how we love. It's our creative expression. It's our spirituality. It's our communion with nature. It's our connection to water. It's full of life. Um, it is... Pisces is the unseen. It's heaven. If we were going to give it a archetypal energy, it's heaven, right? Like, oh... Except that we have this idea that heaven is a place somewhere, which it's not. Heaven is a mindset. And Pisces is the constellation, which they call troubles. They're like, oh, like Pisces is where things come because there's so much going on. So you're so distracted, right? And then it's also, it's the um, people who have a lot of Pisces energy are very empathic, right? We we tend to be, we can feel other people's stuff. I know I can feel what's going on with somebody. If someone gives me permission to feel into them, I can feel exactly what's going on. I can't feel health stuff, but if I listen to someone long enough, I can hear the things that they're not saying. And, and often the things that they don't even really know because the subconscious, most of us haven't done our, done the work to, to, to heal our subconscious so I can hear that stuff, um, inside of folks. And it's really simple. Like once, um, I'll give you an example of someone close to me was talking about dating, um, a man who was bisexual and then someone else said, well, you have to be careful. So when I heard that person say, you have to be careful, I knew that they believe that we catch things from people. And what we don't understand about this energetic system is that we don't catch anything. We align with frequencies that invite things into our reality, like health challenges. But you have to align with that. And so when I heard that person say, oh, you have to be careful, I knew that they were aligned in a belief that they can catch things from other people. So when their health breaks down, it's the belief system that invites those experiences into their life, not actually catching something from anyone. So so Pisces is this energy where everything comes together. And Mercury is currently in Pisces in its retrograde shadow. So I'm going to be having a course tonight, just a couple hours, and we're going to, I'm going to show people how to use the Mercury retrograde energy to 
to transform, to heal, to to make progress rather than be pushed back further along, pushed back into your old patterns and old ways of being. Rather than being triggered by the old patterns, this Mercury retrograde and every Mercury retrograde is an opportunity to see what comes up so that you can then transform it. And Mercury in Pisces means that we're all in this collective thing together. Mercury governs the mind, how we think, our perception, um, and then perception and our thinking creates our reality. So it's a very significant experience. It's very, very significant. And so Mercury and Pisces on a day like today, Wednesday, it really is, you see all this stuff is going on in the world. The election, all these things are about to get more challenging, more, um, more rapid, more choices, more distractions. All It's just, that's Pisces because everything is here and we're about to be retrograde in it. And so the way to really be with this is to just see how you feel in it. How are you experiencing it? How do you feel? Rather than being pulled into the stories, ask yourself, how do these stories make me feel? And how you feel is actually the work for you to do, right? So if you if you feel angry, if you feel isolated, if you feel excited, if you whatever it is you're feeling is yours to handle, is yours to do. Now, most people I talk to are feeling frustrated and overwhelmed and frightened and and scared and fearful like all our stuff is up, up right now because what we have in pisces we have this collective experience sexism racism classism all of those things are a part of the piscean experience and so the work is how do we heal it inside of ourselves if you can do the work for yourself with these big issues you will start to free yourself from the tethers of the experience and that is how we're going to heal. The more of us who heal ourselves, the more we heal those that we are in service to or around or any of that. But the, if we engage at low level vibrations and he did this and she did that, and if we don't allow ourselves to really take responsibility for that which is ours, right? So for me, I have a Pisces rising and my work the rising sign it means that the people that I'm connect that, that I see on a regular basis I can support them and so how do I do it I do that by actually seeing divinity in everything that I encounter I remind myself first and foremost before I get into a story or before I get into a he shouldn't have and why did he and oh my god I can't and racism and sexism and all cuz all that stuff is up for me too but I'll say I know God is here I know God is here and I will stop myself and go, okay, God, show me what I need to know. What do you want from me in this particular situation? And that is a really fascinating way to use the Libra moon because the moon is in Libra and it's in the disseminating phase after the full moon, right? So what what I'm doing is I literally am administering spiritual energy and love through knowing that I am one with God and everyone else in my reality is one with God. Even if I am perceiving that there is something that looks undesirable or wacky or crazy or, or fearful, it's like, okay, I know that God is here. Even in this, God is here. And so we are about to come into this election season and like it's about to be like a rapid train. And I see that Bloomberg might, you know, is running and the, it's the Democrat. It's just really all wack wackalicious, right? And all you have to do is ask, what is for me? Think for yourself. Do not allow anyone to pull you into a way of being or believing out of fear. Fear is the last thing we need to lead us right now. The only thing that can lead you into your what is best for you is by sitting yourself down, asking your higher self to come online and lead you and guide you and show you the way. And I promise, I promise if you do this, on a daily basis, when you feel your energy running, when you feel your mind racing, when you feel anxiety, you stop and you ask, 
What can I do? And you take some really good, deep, slow breaths. You will be directed. I am the Moon Mama. Have a wonderful day. Peace and blessings. Bye-bye.